What's up, Tom from Backslide Disaster Flicks here. I'm out at my favorite low-flying aircraft field. Doing a little test on the DJI Spark. I was providing some feedback in the Facebook group and problem I've been facing, uh, basically, uh, in regular mode, if you're coming straight down, the fastest up my drone goes is 3.1 miles per hour. Uh, in sport mode, it'll actually go 4.3 to 4.5 miles per hour, but it's still extremely slow, especially when you're at a high altitude, like 200 feet. I've been watching battery just drain, and you know, it's a, I'll, I'll, I'll often be flying out in the high alpine, I'll lose the drone in the backdrop of the trees, so I trigger an RTH to get it back over my head, and then once I see it, I'll bring it straight down. Through some feedback in the group, a lot of people were saying that um, you can cause a vortex if you're coming down too fast. In order to prevent that, I think DJI artificially limits the speed of descent. What I was trying was to compare them all together and you're gonna see that I'll show you the live video of a comparison and then what I discovered is if I do a reverse helix in the controls where I'm pushing the uh, throttle down and I'm spinning uh, right or left doesn't really matter I can spin it in a tight circle and I actually was bringing it down at 7.1 to 9.1 miles per hour so I'm gonna put a GoPro on I'm gonna show you those controls but I think this is the trick to getting your spark down quickly especially if times running out of your battery you're watching it tick I know that nervous situation battery is a premium on the spark. What's up? I'm gonna do a ascent descent test. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna go just straight up. 200 feet is my plan. I'm gonna go in normal mode. So it's not a windy day. Everything's totally still, which is really good. So I'm not gonna have any resistance there. This is a brand new battery that I just put in. 94%. That's fresh out of the bag. I had charged it uh, yesterday and firmware flashed it. So that's as good as it's gonna get. Runner, runner straight up. Then I'm gonna come back right back down. Uh, we're gonna look at the speed of that and we'll watch the ticker and we'll go from there. But I'm killing battery just talking, so let's go. Heading up. Take off. I'm the gonna go point has been updated. Up. Please check it on the map. There she goes. We're gonna watch her go right to 200 feet. Uh, group, oh, there we are. I'm gonna come right back down. Now we're at 3.1 on the descent. This is in regular mode. So I'm going to bring it right back down, and boom, ground sensor, bring it up a little bit so I can catch her. Landing. And we're done. Now, I'm going to go right back up. This time we're going in sport mode. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Now we're in sport mode. Uh, you see we're about 6.7, 6.5 miles per hour. Oh, boom. There we are. I'm going to run her back down. We're moving pretty fast. And this is like 4.3, 4.5. So this is the max descent speed you're going to get. And she's down. Now, I'm going to go back up one more time. And this time I'm going to try to forward descent uh, and spin it in a circle to see if I can get a faster descent. And I'm going to go sport mode again, so. Take off. I'm going to cruise right up to 200 feet. I want, I want this like 6.5 miles per hour come down just like a come up, man. It just kills too much battery. Okay, now this is going to take some maneuvering. Down, forward, and spinner. So this is a spin coming down. As you see, we're coming down at like nine, but she's way over far away from me. That is a way faster descent. Boom. So, so I'm gonna show that reverse helix descent maneuver. Definitely the time saver and a way to conserve your battery if you're doing some quick descents from high altitudes. Uh, I'm gonna go up to 200. So, down and spiral. He's pretty much going coming right down off. And we started it at whatever I started it at. I don't know. I'm doing my best throttle to see what's not here. So she's pretty much going coming right down off. This is the waiting game here. So this is coming down from 400 feet. I mean, it's definitely faster. I think I was clocking seven to nine miles an hour. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm pretty cool with that. So anyways, uh, this battery is about dead. Tests are complete. So I think we have a success. Anything to conserve battery would be awesome. So anyways, I hope you like and subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Do all that stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Later.